Hi everyone, I'm Phil Crifo, Game Director on Chia. In Chia, we wanted to draw from our experience growing up on the island, and we took inspiration from the country's incredibly rich culture. The world of Chia is entirely fictional though, and you don't have to know about New Caledonia to understand what is going on. We recreated iconic landmarks, wrote characters who speak in local languages, Jeu and French. <laughs> Let me show you some of the really cool locomotion abilities and traversal options that we built to make exploring the world of Chia fun and rewarding. This is a game about exploration, so it was super important for us that moving around was intuitive, responsive, but also deep enough to stay engaging throughout the whole game. In Chia, you are not bound to design routes and areas. You can climb any surface organically, even at weird angles, and carve your own path through the islands. You can use the terrain's verticality to your advantage by sliding down slopes, and use your glider to cover long distances and break your falls. Well, sometimes... Let's dive into one of the game's most unique mechanics, Chia's soul jumping ability that allows you to take control of any object or animal in the game world. Using your soul jumping abilities will deplete Chia's soul meter, and more intense activities will drain it faster. You can upgrade it permanently by consuming super rare fruits that will add a slot to your soul meter, and doing so, as well as progressing through the story, will unlock the full potential of Chia's soul jumping powers. I'd like to give you a closer look at our fully playable ukulele mechanic and how it integrates into the game's open world as well as its story. In Chia, we wanted every mechanic to feel tactile, analogic and toy-like in order to emulate the childhood joys of tinkering with things and making your own fun. Our ukulele is no exception. After unlocking this item early in the game, you are free to take it out at any time. Take it out at any time. Finally, your ukulele is also a fully functional virtual instrument. The cold wheel covers an entire musical scale. You can plug the strings, strum up and down, change the chord qualities and accidentals, and even bend your notes for an extra flair. Chia is not an action game at the core, but as the story progresses and the game world evolves accordingly, you will often find yourself in some dicey situations. The main enemies in the game are the Maano, mindless minions brought to life by Meavora from pieces of wood and fabric. They will easily incapacitate you if you go within range of their cloth projectile. So the key is to keep your distances, circle around them, and use your locomotion abilities to stay one step ahead. Because they're made out of fabric, the only way to get rid of them for good is to burn them up. For example, you could store some explosive objects in your backpack, soak throw flammable items, or improvise on the fly. It's all up to you. If you feel like taking a break from the pressure of saving the archipelago, the game offers many side activities to pass the time. Try to beat the high score at a shooting range, take part in time attack races either on foot, on boat, or as an animal, or even try to win a diving competition. Collectibles such as pearls and trinkets can be found all over the island and exchanged for cosmetic items for Chia and her boat, which can also be won by proving your skills on a claw machine. Time to take a look at the many customization options and various items at your disposal to make Chia's adventure your own. Simply exploring the world and progressing through the story will unlock clothing items for Chia, ranging from simple streetwear to traditional outfits inspired by New Caledonian culture. Chia also carries an old film camera. Just like the ukulele, we designed this feature as a fun analog mechanic that emulates the super rewarding process of shooting on film. Thank you for following along. We can't wait for you to jump into our world. <laughs>